Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Mom. And I'm Munchkin of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And this month we're working on... The top right corner of the Fantasy Fun Quilt. And you can see it right there. Uh, this is directly opposite of the very first block of the month that we did for 2019. So there's one in between, right? There is yeah. one in between them. Okay. All right, so let's let's show what we've done so far. You hold one side, I'll hold the other. Okay, and then you can so describe it. This one right here is the bottom center of the Fantasy Run quilt. Uh, it is the bottom of a tower that is kind of the center theme of the whole quilt. Just pop them over there, perfect. These blocks measure 24 inches by 24 inches. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, this one is the bottom left corner of the Fantasy Fun Quilt. And it's a nice scenic landscape that has the base of a mountain in it. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. And, and so mine. Far. So far. <laughs> this is the upper left below the next one. Uh, and this is also known as the tree in the sky block. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Very nice. And then this is the first one we did, which is, there's one more in between this one and the one we're building today. So you can see there's a little bit of a linkage between the, I think the airship, right? Yes. Yeah, the, the airship part. balloon that is right here. And then the bottom part right there, and the, where the wood is sort of yes. thing is representing the brown. The beginnings of the deck. And Beautiful. this is the top left corner. Very nice. Very excited to keep working on this. Getting big. Just <laughs> set these off to the side, as I'll need the entire ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. So we do have a little bit done beforehand. Uh, not too much, just the... The right side of the block. <laughs> the cloud and uh, just a tiny little part of yes, the bottom of the, or the top of the airship. A lot of the other block of the months that we've done so far for this quilt have already contained the clouds, so we figured might as well show you something new. So how would you like to get started? Finish um, the pieces or start piecing together the air balloon? Yeah, start piecing the air balloon together and they can work on the bottom uh, part. Let's work our way from the middle out. Okie dokie. Okay. So. And there's two very similar colors here, but they do represent an air balloon. Because it is an actual the sky sort of thing from the sky, right? I, oh, I have the sewing machine at Mach 20. <laughs> Sorry about that. You want to give that a little press, please? Okay. And hand me the next two you'd like uh, me to sew together while you're pressing that. And thank you very much. Here you go. Awesome. Good job, Ins. If I'm not mistaken, the main reason why... Uh, airships balloons were white were, well, due to the cost of dyeing large balloons, and the uh, the possible camouflage factor of well, a large white balloon can look like a, a bit oddly shaped cloud from a distance. <laughs> Okay, we have to do some trimming on this one because I'm lining it up so we make sure we get that, that corner, mm -hmm. that full corner of the blue there. Oh, let me trim that away. Ooh. Whoopsies. Okay. Well, it has to be lined up that way, right? Uh, yep, just want to make sure we got that nice clean angle that's trying to shape that balloon, right? Well, then we'll have to get you to trim this extra little bitty bits off, okay? You okay with that? I suppose so. 
I'm not normally trusted with sharp objects, but... <laughs> Practice makes perfect. <laughs> So what I do is I line it up on this side where it's flipped over so you can actually see a nice straight edge of this fabric and then follow there. So there's a ruler there, a ruler there, and somewhere around here. Is it under? Pin. It is. So we can do it this way so I know because yeah. you're, you're right-handed. So line it up on a nice straight line so you're not going to no, no wonky wonky cuts. And you know this is straight because I, I cut that as nice and square. And you just want to lop off that little bitty bobs there. Okay. Sorry. Give you some room. Take your time. And just be confident with your cut and make sure you push down with enough force that you know you're cutting through fabric. Great job. Ta-da! Ta-da! Alright, now if you could please press that and then we'll line up everything else as we go on. Okay. Because I think we can add this one on top then and then that solid blue stripe. Very excited for weekend's uh, live stream, Saturday's live stream. I don't think that goes there. It does? Oh, it does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. I apologize. You have it. You're on it. I did design it. I should know. <laughs> like you've told me before. <laughs> I've got a lot of this fabric, and I've placed it out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was another piece there for a moment. Or a different piece. Not necessarily another piece. Okay. There we go. See the part of the ship is coming together there as it's coming around the shape, and then we're just got a little bit more sky at the top, and then start building out a little bit of the side and uh, and the basket or the bottom part. Sorry, not necessarily basket. Sorry. Um, would you give that a? Well, yeah, we can add that, and then you can give it a press all at the same time. Works for me. And remember with. The majority of these blocks, it's always safest to trim on the longest side. Whenever you need to trim. Yeah, don't cut your triangle off. Yeah. Cut the end off that's got that extra bit of fabric. That's what they allow it for. So make sure you can, you're squaring up and you're not too short. I'd rather have too much than too little. <laughs> and then we can add... Uh, no, because that's a whole little section. We'll pretty much add these two together and then put it on the side, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me add those while you're pressing that then. I see. I really enjoyed working on this project. And I, you. I, I think we've actually become closer. I think so, too. Actually. From from working together on this. I do, too. <laughs> Press that, please. No. <laughs> please. <laughs> Just because we've become closer doesn't mean I'm going to be any less sassy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from me, Munchkin. <laughs> That's the reason why we only had one. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so much sass in such a package. <laughs> Looks like we are going to need to trim. I'd prefer again. to have these little lines match up here to define the balloon. I so, will. Yeah, no, I'm I just going to pin it. I'm going to kind of tweak it and pin it just so it looks nice and evenish as best we can. It's going to might be a little bit longer on the one side, but we're going to try and place it and then take that little bit off that side and take a little bit off on that side as well. But we're going to pin it, sew it first. And then we'll go from there. What I'm doing is splitting the difference between those two seams. So it's not too much of on one side. It's split between the two. So maybe it shares the distance and it won't, it'll look just fine. If it just happens to be a little bit off. We've learned a lot as we've gone along with this EQ8 software, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah, so we, has, we uh, definitely have. It has, some, it has very much a, a learning curve to it. And I like everything. I yeah. like life. There's a learning curve to life, man. Boy, does it ever throw you some curveballs. 
Well, with the EQ8 software, once you figure out its quirks, it's quite easy to work with. Quirks. <laughs> I like how you put that. <laughs> Alright, would you press that, please? Thank you. Like, it'll sometimes give you m more seam allowance than you really need, but, well, it's better than it not giving you the seam allowance that you need. <clears throat> sometimes you have to trim. Grab those little, that little four piece sort of pack that was there. So I'm just trimming it up. This one that goes mm -hmm. at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So if you give that a press, sorry. Now we're working our way to there, right? That's where we are. Right Here. there. Let me hold this up so you can see. Okay. We're working it. So cute. All right. Would you please press that? And then we will add it to this and work our way down. And then we've got some more stuff to, to set out and do. Right, so. Yeah, we don't actually have all the puzzle pieces put nope, together we yet. No, don't. We're getting there. I had I had a lot of them done. Obviously. Not everything, but we do we do need to show people how to do it. And then we'll add those two together, right? Okay, perfect. And then if you want to set the next set out. Well, the next set is the ones that we have to piece together, as far as I can tell. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've had lots of showers, so I'm hoping for very much May flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. All right, just to confirm. Yes, it is. It goes in that way. So what I do is I put that triangle that tells you to cut in half. I put it on the angle like that. Hold on, show, show, show for pop there. And then you go from one corner to the next, and then that just flips over and becomes your brown corner. And then you just trim that off. Okay, so it's allowing you to, for extra placement. That's why the side is always trimmable um, to make sure you're getting it nice and square. Because sometimes you come come a little short, you come come a little high. Eh, it's like whatever. Eh, we'll make it work for you. I like the software that way. <laughs> it's intuitive. <laughs> it knows I might make a mistake, so it's allowing me extra fabric to trim. Okay, see, and then flipped up, just like that. There we go. Do, do a little finger press. Trim this. Can lop off its little corner bits there too. Okay, put that in its position. Next! What's, what's this one? Is this one just a solid? Just a solid, isn't it? No? No. no? Oh. This one goes in here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There we go. So is that the next? That would be that row. Okay, well then let's sew this together. Unless then. there's unless there's a shorter version of that, so. Nope, there's not. Okay. Okay. Give that a little finger press. Sometimes if you can't get into the iron right away, give it a little good, you know, like rubbing. Okay. Brute force is a solution. <laughs> Not always the right solution, but it's a solution. Submission! <laughs> Very rarely the right solution. So he's looking at his funny, isn't she? It's like, what are you guys doing over there? Up to no good. She's like, I'm down, Pop! <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not sleeping, usually, but I'm not talking to myself. That's why she's not sleeping. Mm -hmm. Aha, I figured it out. That's why she's awake looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Can you press that, please? <laughs> and I'll get these started. That's funny. Just figure that out. I figured it out there, Sophie. I did a little puzzle. Because <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. She's not snoring away. She's like, there might be action going on. There might be goodies involved. There might be a snack. <laughs> The cat's off asleep on something that he probably shouldn't be. Well, they're donation beds to the shelter, so the fact he's napping on them is just 
It's like, I'm just giving my... The thing is, it's like he almost knows. It's like he almost knows for some other animals. He's testing. <laughs> oh, I, I made a little stack and it turned around this morning. I came, came home from crossing garden and there he was napping on them. I'm like, what are you doing, Mr. Clive? <laughs> Pre pre loving the animal shelter beds. Isn't that nice of you? Well, that's where we got him from. So I'm just trying to give back to them and in, in, in kindness. Hopefully, I got those two right. Please, Please and thank you. I hope I did. Oh, these are. This is all together here. Okay, I can put this row. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up. I'm gonna make sure the brown, the brown is the essential line you need to get pins to line up the best you can and then trim all the other bits off. Just square it up. If that brown yep. line is not consistent on the diagonal, it's gonna break up the whole support system from the top of the balloon to the bottom of the uh, basket or ship part, so, right? Yep. So we really need to make sure that is on, bang on. You could say that the brown part is seam sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of stitches there. It was very thick. Okay, now let's see. Did we good, do a good job? Well, I don't know. Are you happy with that? Are you? From a distance, it's okay. <laughs> Are you happy with that? This is your project. Yeah. Okay. All right. I am. Okay. I'll sew these two together. It's just... <clears throat> I'm more than willing to see my bit. There's mistakes, and then there's little bits of character. Okay. And I feel like that falls under character. All right. I'm, it's your project. I'm letting you approve. If, it, if you would want me to fix it, I would definitely fix it. <laughs> That's just a smidgen. <laughs> no worries. You're being sassy behind my back? No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> Your father would agree, but let's not go there. <laughs> You said you and I doing videos together would lead to trouble, so. <laughs> you doing videos on your own cause trouble. <laughs> well, see, that's what I mean. Any counterpart just adds to more trouble. It's not like it's going to, you know, tame tame the the craziness. Not happening. Not. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, look at us go. Now we're almost sailing away. All right, so we're going to line that. Now, here's another one to line up. Actually, that's, that, looks like, that one's fine. It's, that one's just a tiny smidgy smidgy, but once we get it all quilted, it'll be easy. Um, and then we have the next little bit to go, right? So let's see if I can do a better job on this one. Here. What is that? There. I'm just trying to, trying to improve on the first one. So I'm just trying to, like... Almost like foso. Foso. Okay, that one seems to be the best position. So I'm going to take that, pin it, and then and try to aim better the second time around. So all we can do, right? Pin? Why, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> I need those! Or just you. Okay. I love your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you, Munchkin. There we go. That's pretty good. I like that. I really got up on the one side. The inside a little bit off. But hey, character. Character. <laughs> if we could press that, please. And we will finish off the last little barn part. And then we have the two parts together. Two, two parts together. I feel like there should be some sort of dance going on. Not without throwing out my bag. <laughs> 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 
Not the going attractions. Do the kid, the kid. There's those two that could be pressed before I'll sew them together, so I'll give them back to you. You want to hold up what we have so far? Sure. Right? There we go. Isn't that neat? Like I said, try and make that straight line as, as possible. Some characters going to be have to be added, you know. It's not <laughs> completely exact. Life is never exact. Just try your best. And then we have our other cloud on the other side done. I'm very much looking forward to the piece in between. I thought these actually... Uh, lined up together and I thought well that's kind of a short little ship but whatever <laughs> or like the next part would be on the board, uh, next block but um, no, I'm happy to know that there's actually another block in between I haven't seen what it all looks like in the end so I'm very surprised by every month as you guys are so yes the, the dark on the top and the lighter on the bottom mm -hmm. and then we want to try and make sure this seam is as close to perflecto as possible and then we'll add it to this. And what you want to trim that up, actually, if you don't mind, while we're waiting here. And then we'll line that other uh, right-hand section up. Please and thank you. Here, I'll even give you a little bit of room. Thank not you. Not in the camera way, nope. But uh, this ship actually is in five of the blocks. Wow. That is awesome. That's a big ship. That is so cool. The We're going to have to go pick up some different browns because I don't think we picked enough of, of this one. So, but as long as we have it somewhat consistent, well, uh, in, in the, in the ship, I think we'll be okay. It should be fine as long as it's, uh, relatively the same uh, shade of brown. We may have to. We'll, yeah. have, to, we'll have to go shopping. <laughs> Woe is us! Oh no! <laughs> you ever feel like you, the person you're working with has this evil plan? <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I think. I don't know. Good job. Even pressure, yeah, the best, that's the best suggestion. Just nice, even pressure. You know, you're not cutting a tomato, but you're, you know, not cutting wood either, so. All right, then we'll line this one up. All right. Am I the only one that's seeing a curve? We'll make it work. That's the way fabric is. No worries. That up. Look, it lined up beautifully. Good job. Good job. All right, now we need the other side. And uh, then we pin them together. And that is May's block of the month. Almost done. All right, give that a little pressing. And then we'll line it up. We'll add some pins. Need some pins for sure. looks like a heart. I like this one. I like this. I like this cloud. It looks like a heart. It's like the love. Feeling the love in the sky. Well, the majority of the clouds that I designed are the same design because I liked the one that would look like a heart. <laughs> I just couldn't make them all hearts because... I'm looking forward to December, not necessarily for anything else besides this quilt block finished being being finished, and we get to see what the final uh, of it all being put together looks like. So, like, I'm not necessarily looking forward to the snow and freezing weather, but I'd like to enjoy my <laughs> spring and summer and fall first. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm very excited to see the like when this all comes together. I really am. We've done designed something very beautiful and uh, very unique. And I'm glad you stepped out of some, your, some of your comfort zone to, to design itself and to partake with it with me on camera. So a lot of a lot of growing. Okay, I think we got those 
right where we needed them. I'm not very proud of a lot of the things that I do, but this is definitely one of the things that I'm proud of. We always need those few things to make us feel like we've done something with our lives, right? And working with you every month has made me kind of realize that I've helped make a piece of art. There you go. And be proud of your work. A piece of art that, at least so far, I'm happy with. Very happy with. press and then we'll hold it up for longer. Very cool. Good job. Looks just like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> you must have followed the directions. Or is that destructions? <laughs> I think it looks better than the picture. Me too, that fabric has some texture to it. The blue is just amazing, and all of the all of the fabrics and, that you've used in this project have been. Uh, it definitely, the fabric choices do add to the project, right? And especially when we knew we were gonna have so much sky, why not add something with texture to the sky, like so it has movement, wind or weather or something, but you can feel something as you're looking at it. This almost seems like it's a bit of a sandstone or sandstorm going on with, you know. Or maybe, since it's fantasy, there's magic in the air. That's ex I was just going to say, or something very magical could be in the air. Very nice. Good job. Very nice. Thank you, everybody, for watching, liking, and subscribing. We really appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And don't forget to check us out on... Patreon. There we go. Where all of our Patreons get a chance to win... The quilts that we make on Patreon, and there's several throughout the year. We've had lots of lucky winners. Take care, enjoy the weekend, and we will see you tomorrow on the live stream when we're going to be starting the new Seahorse Project. And uh, three seahorses, great scrap buster. Uh, the pattern is uh, relatively inexpensive, and we will have the link via the live stream. So check it out at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Okay, thank you, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you. Let's hold up. Bye. <laughs>